Hello everyone, this is Ross with Market Traders Daily and this is today's video analysis for December 30th, 2019. Today we're taking a quick look at the GBP USD, the Greater British Pound versus the US Dollar for today's trade analysis. Over the past couple of weeks we've seen some pretty wild swings here for this currency pair. We had, of course, the continuation of the uptrend that's been in place since August or so. Started all the way down here, bottom left hand side of the chart down near the 1.2000 level uh, took a couple of turns to the to the upside went into a period of range bound or congestion here in the middle of that trend and then in the past couple of weeks a significant rise all the way to 1.35 right back down to the 1.3000 area or even into the 1.29 area and then here we are in the past few days, right back up to the 1.3130 level. So uh, a rise, a fall, and now in the midst of a little bit of a rise again here for the pound dollar. So very interesting couple of weeks, kind of what you expect uh, towards the end of the year, but also a lot of political information that has affected this currency pair. But uh, as we zoom it in, a couple of things I want to point out for the day today. Right here, the blue shaded area, 1.313060. Uh, historically, we've seen some congestion, some resistance around this area right here with a red circle. As you can see, one, two, three, four, four days finding resistance underneath 31.6030. Finally breaking through it, making that turn higher, came back down. One day found support here, broke through it, went back down. Now here we are again, right back into that same area. So first things first, you know, we talk about in the trade room every day, uh, there's basically three decisions we have to make on each currency pair. Should we buy it? Should we sell it? Or don't trade it? Well, I would say the first easy answer is probably not buying it today. You don't want to go long buy underneath this period of or this area of resistance. You know, just think about back there with a red circle is one, two, three, four days finding resistance there. It's not a fruitful opportunity immediately to take a long underneath 130, does that mean you should sell it? Maybe. Uh, that's a possibility. Selling into resistance is always a possibility. A couple of things there to think about. Take Fibonacci from the highest high, top of that spike, down to our current low, and that puts the 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level, 1.3137. Guess what? That's right here inside our blue zone. So we know with some pretty good confidence that this blue zone is going to be resistance for the day today. So it's your job and my job to try to figure out how we want to play that. We don't want to buy it. That's an easy answer. No buy here. So the question is, do we sell it or don't trade it? Well, those are some of the answers that probably are a little bit more of a personal decision. If you were looking to take risk in this last couple of days of the year, I would say don't buy it, potentially sell it, or don't trade it. Let's take it on down to the four hour time frame as we see this. And we can see the market just kind of easing its way in the past couple in the past couple of days since market opened t this week right back into that blue shade area again i think the easy answer today underneath the 382 in that blue zone is just don't think about buying it underneath there a couple of reasons reasons we would buy it is that it finally breaks through that blue zone or potentially dips back down to the purple zone as support uh, if you look right here uh, we're looking at similar price action right here in this red circle. Let's make that circle a different color. Let's make it black. So the black circle shows there is price action between the blue and the purple shade area. Under the purple zone, not too hard to see. It would go lower, back down to the green zone or lower. So in the current situation, we're not buying. We're potentially selling uh, if... Let's say the dollar has a good rally in the next couple of hours, which is a possibility. You had a good fall over the past couple of days. So if the dollar rallies, we may see a pullback down here for the GBP. So if you're buying, you'd prefer to buy it at the purple zone or above the blue zone. If you're thinking about selling the pound dollar here in this last couple of days of the year, this is going to be your best opportunity with lower risk and higher reward for the pound dollar today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.